Hey Land Party Gamers! Today we're going to be talking a little bit about RGB. And as you can tell from our CES footage at the beginning of the year, 2017 is the year for RGB. So to go with that theme, as well as our garage updates, we're integrating RGB in a whole new way into our garage. Now if you've ever been over and played Artemis with us, you know that the RGB setup in the garage goes with the game. So things like uh, going to red alert makes the whole garage turn red. Uh, going to uh, shields puts the entire garage in blue. And taking damage makes the entire garage flicker. Well, to help us out in making this even more epic, Silverstone has sent us these. These take an ordinary 120 millimeter fan, they also have a 140 millimeter fan option, and takes your ordinary versions and turns them into RGB. To take your fans into 2017. Okay, silly light tricks aside, the reason why I was very interested in this is we have some very powerful fans, server delta fans, sucking air out of the rafters in our garage, and they were, are in prime positions for lighting effects. I didn't want to get rid of those expensive fans and replace them with some even potentially more expensive RGB fans if we could get around that. So looking around Newegg and other websites, I came across these. They're fan grills. And Silverstone has made these so you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars replacing every fan in your case in order to get RGB effects in there. So if you have some fans that you just don't want to get rid of or that you can't afford to get rid of, but you still want the cool lighting effects that say your motherboard or, or your controller can afford you, then these are a great way to go. So we're going to unbox these. We're going to show you exactly what comes in the package and, um, and give you an idea of what you can expect when ordering these. They also supplied us a, a LSB-01 8-port RGB light strip controller. And this controller will help you, if you only have one RGB output on, say, a motherboard or some other peripheral, uh, this will allow you to connect all of your RGB stuff together and control them as one unit. So that should be pretty interesting to see exactly how well this integrates with their other RGB solutions. So let's get right to it. So if we are uh, going to put some of these to the side here. So in, in the box it comes with uh, basically the light and you can see it straight from the front but all the connectors are kind of hidden behind this uh, this wording here. It tells you exactly how big it is and as we mentioned it has 120 millimeter and 140 millimeter variant depending on which one you order. It shows you the different colors samples that it can do on the back side, as well as instructions in multi languages. If we open up the package here, just take a look exactly at what's included. It looks like you get obviously the fan grill, as well as the RGB uh, connector here. And it wasn't clear, so here's the fan grill right there and the these are the connectors so you get the standard female adapter on the outside here um, that would plug straight into your motherboard header or um, or if you have another controller it would plug straight into that and then you have this other adapter that is you know to be honest it looks a looks a lot like a fan header adapter but I know it's not this is for a different type of RGB standard that I have yet to see. So we're going to be likely uh, using, um, we're going to be, I know that this is what we have in the garage right here, the standard RGB header. This is the same RGB header that's on mother, um, like Z270 motherboards as well as Ryzen motherboards uh, stock. So this is exactly what comes in it uh, as well as you get four new uh, fan screws. These are the standard fan screws that goes from the outside of your case and into the uh, plastic here, taps into the plastic of either your fan or in this case your fan grill. So you get four screws and the uh, RGB ring. So let's see what's also in the 8-port RGB box. 
So in the, uh, the box here is what's going to be uh, dispersing the signal from our setup into these different light situations. And um, on, on the front of the box here, you, you get a nice uh, telling you exactly what it is and a really excellent picture of this mounted on the inside of a computer case. So you can tell exactly how you're supposed to mount it, where the plugs are, just straight off the bat. Uh, pretty good display there. And on the back side, you have some instructions in different languages on what's included. Uh, very, very good. Uh, you get two, oh, you get two RGB strips with this. That's excellent. So we're going to have even more lighting than we originally thought. You get a extended two extended Y cables to help you reach. Uh, you get a four pin signal cable and a four pin peripheral cable. And that's going to go from your Molex power into this to power the uh, to power the RGB as well. So let's take a quick look see at these guys. There we go. And there's back of the box. Alrighty, so on the inside, we've just got, discarded the plastic here. Here's the part we were little, really looking for. We've got, this is the box. It looks really simple. It, uh, it's got the Silverstone logo right there. And it's got uh, ports on every side. This thing is, is uh, ready to go. Looks like you can plug in eight separate RGB strips, or in our case, uh, the fans into this thing. So that's really cool. And if we put that here to the side, here's the cables that it comes with. Here's the connector we'll probably be using. It's a, uh, a Y adapter that takes you from the standard RGB plug that we're talking about earlier down to Silverstone's uh, adapter for the box here. Here's another one of those, same exact style. Here is uh, a non-Y adapter of the same idea, female RGB here to, a, uh, to the box. And then here is their RGB strip that they included. And it has this, this style plug on it as well to go from the box. And then you can take this out and string it along to uh, a male like that. So they can go together and you can daisy chain these. Whatever shows up on this guy should show up as well on the fan grill or another RGB strip. And another RGB strip with the same connectors on it. And these all look like, yep, they're all adhesive backed. So you can peel this off and that should just go straight onto the inside of your case or whatever project you're working on. And last but obviously not least, your power adapter to go from four pin Molex down to the adapter plug that's required to power all this RGB. And then you also get a, a small uh, light strip control box booklet that tells you exactly where things go. There's a switch on the side, it looks like, that goes from MB to IC. And I'm assuming MB stands for motherboard, and you could probably tell it exactly how to control it. So let's see if we can verify that here. Ah, yeah, so the, so the side here is you, you either control it from the motherboard so it becomes a pass-through device or from the internal controller, I see, and you select your desired input source with that switch. So that's, that's pretty much everything that comes with the 120-millimeter uh, fan grill from Silverstone. What's great is these are only 10 bucks which is awesome. So you turn your, your fan that you spent a lot of money on, you picked out specifically, or even one that came with your computer case that you like, you know, it came with a case, it does a fine job cooling your computer. You can uh, really maximize that what, what it can do for you as far as aesthetics and throw these grills on the front. So we're gonna go ahead and install these in the garage and I'm gonna show you what these look like when installed on a computer fan. So come with me. Okay, so we're in the garage, obviously, and we have the party light strip going uh, garage wide behind me. And this is where it ends up. 
we put a coupler on the end of the uh, RGB pinout here so that I can convert it from a female plug that would go into like a motherboard or controller to a male one, which will continue the signal on. Now we also have the controller box here provided by Silverstone with the eight ports on it and the incoming connection with the same adapter on this end, but in the case, a female style. And with any luck, this is gonna be our test strip for this. And if I plug this in, matching the uh, white cable up to the white cable here, we should get the same colors coming through the entire way. There we go, looks like it works to me. So what I have to do now is I have to figure out exactly what lengths of extensions I need to, or if I need to make any more, I do have another RGB extension cable available to me, and uh, exactly how I'm going to get these adapted to fit where the fans are above me here. And uh, so once I have that all figured out, I'll put them up and I'll show you how it looks, and we'll try out a game of Artemis to make sure everything works with red alerts and shields, taking damage, etc. Should be pretty cool when it's all done. Okay, so now all I have to do is <clears throat> put the four screws up here. So I just got to take the original four out. Okay, so we've got the room darkened and the game has started. This is Artemis Bridge Simulator. And you'll notice that all the lights turned off immediately when the game started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the server which will spawn the ship. And hopefully we should get some white or purple light. So let's see, which will mean it's a standby mode. So if I hit start game, all right. There we go, white and purple light, perfect. Uh, so that's what it's supposed to do. So now I'm sitting down at a client computer here and this computer will be in control of all the systems on the ship. So if I connect to uh, the computer, and you see on the big screen it spawned the ship, and I'll go ahead and select all of the different uh, terminals available from helms to weapons, communication, etc. cetera. Uh, in the game I can turn the ship, I can raise the shields, and the light should turn a deep blue. All right, it works. Uh, if I lower the shields, it should go back to neutral. That they do, all right, cool. And here's a special one. If we go to red alert, yes, they all work. So in game, we're at red alert as well as in real life. Pretty cool. So let's see what happens when we take some damage. When we take some damage, it should uh, put us in a, uh, well, it, sh it should make the light lights flicker and, and give us a real big warning indication that we're under attack. So if, if we look on the map over here, we've got some enemies way out in the distance, and I'm just going to fly headlong into one of them, and we're going to see what happens here. He should be attacking us any second now. Hey, there we go, and we got some flickers going. Very nice. Let's see, up oh, there they go. Yeah, you know when you're under attack now, and all the lights are synced together, they're all doing it in unison, this is what we wanted. The whole room being our status indicator for this game. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe knock this guy out here. There he goes. So I'll go ahead and take the shields down, cancel red alert, and that's it. All right, well, that's it. RGB in the garage is a huge success. So uh, that's 
pretty much it for uh, for that project and I hope that this was an interesting one. If you have any fans that need RGBing, <laughs> then don't be afraid to uh, to grab these kits. They're inexpensive and they work really well and they're really easy to put together. Thanks for watching. If you have any uh, comments, please leave them in the comment section below and uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Keep in mind, we still have a couple days left of our MX keyboard giveaway. I'll put the link to the description in that in below and uh, make sure you subscribe for more unboxing, reviews, how-to guides, and more. Thanks for watching. Bye.